Nicole Scott here from Mobile Geeks. It's time for the Pebble Time unboxing. This Mobile Geeks video is powered by Asus. So this is exactly how the Pebble Time shows up in the mail. It comes just in the box. You rip it open and there it is. This isn't a box you're going to be keeping, so don't think of it like the Apple Watch, which, uh, you know, the box is actually part of the experience. So inside, we've got our quick start guide, which is actually pretty useful to read because I assumed that uh, when you're setting it up and it tells you to download Android Wear that you actually want to connect it to Android Wear which actually isn't the case. So actually very much worth reading uh, the quick start guide <laughs> when you're setting this up. Then we have the Pebble Time itself. We have the plastic version. And then we have the charging cable. It connects to the Pebble Time just like this. So the Pebble Time comes with a 1.25 inch color e-paper display with an LED backlight. Now it weighs in at only 42.5 grams. It takes a 25 millimeter band. And if you're wondering how high it is, well, that's 9.5 millimeters. Now, Pebble's not saying exactly how big the battery is, but you're going to be able to get seven days between charges. Now, the big difference between this one and the Pebble Time Steel is the Pebble Time Steel will get 10 days of battery life. Now, it's also waterproof to 30 meters, and you see that we actually uh, backed this on Kickstarter. Now, why is this called the Pebble Time? Well, because they've actually changed the operating system. So you press this button, you go back in time, you press this button, you go forward in time. You press the middle button to engage and, well, that's just to go back. So let's just push the middle button to check out the settings. Now we can play some music. All right, now let's just hit the next song. Now if we hit the middle button, pause it, play, and we can of course control the volume. So let's just stop that, and using this button, we'll just head back again. So going through the menu, it's very simple. So we have notifications, let's go back. Now, if you want to answer a notification, you can't answer a notification that you've already received on the watch. It has to be a fresh one. And another annoying thing is that the time's not exactly smart enough to figure out that I've already read something on my phone. It will just show me everything new here. So that's a bit annoying. Then we have alarm clock, watch faces. There we can have our misfit. This is a timer, Sleep as Android, which is a handy app for uh, monitoring your sleep. Now, this, since, since this comes with uh, quite a bit of battery life, you can actually wear this one to bed, whereas a lot of Android watches, you can't. Now let's check out a few of the watch faces. Now, one of my other complaints about the time is that, well, I don't find the display to be particularly bright. So now what everyone's wondering is how, how does this compare to the original Pebble Steel? So I actually like the look of the Pebble Steel a lot more than I do the Pebble Time. I mean, even if the time came in steel, I still think that uh, this design is a lot sexier. Yeah, I mean, if we check out the side profile, they've definitely curved out the time a little bit more. But to be honest with you, I kind of like the boxiness of the original uh, Pebble Steel. So when it comes to Android watches, this one actually just got the latest update, so I'm pretty excited to put that on. But the original Zen watch is uh, much bigger, and when it comes to thickness, it looks actually about the same. I mean, visually, these aren't that far off. So now what about the LG Watch R? Now this is a circular display and it is much bigger and much chunkier than what we have with the Pebble Time. This actually is a lot more unisex and smaller. So that's actually a really positive thing in my mind because this watch is very much exclusively for men unless you're a woman who really likes to rock that kind of boyfriend look. 
Now when it comes to the thickness, the LG Watch R definitely is a little bit thicker. It's definitely overall just a bigger device, even though it has that circular display which everyone just seems to love so much. So now here's the watch that everybody is asking about. How does it pair up against the Apple Watch? Now to be honest with you, it kind of seems a little more similar in size. I mean definitely not display size, but just overall uh, front facing size. I mean the time just has this huge bezel around it. Whereas um, one of the great notifications, um, or one of the, sorry, I just got a notification on here. Uh, one of the great things about the Apple Watch is that they've made the bezel the same color as the display, so you can't actually see uh, where the display ends, and that's actually one of the uh, best features about this watch. Now, I'm not a big fan of the Apple Watch, so we're just going to put this down and look at uh, how the notifications goes. So here we go. Now we can just go into that, we can reply, archive, open it up on the phone, we can mute Gmail. So now let's just hit reply. So now we can do voice, template, emoji. So you can see that there's all these little emojis there. And we're just going to hit back. Back. So you can definitely scroll down and read the email. Now this is actually Daniel's uh, email, and uh, Zag is going to love all of this free promo <laughs> for their case uh, here here in the in this unboxing video. All right, so this is just kind of a brief look at the new Pebble Time and a very very quick size comparison to a bunch of other um, smartwatches that are currently on the market. I am your host Nicole Scott for Mobile Geeks. We're going to be having a full review of this. So if you have any questions, uh, please let us know and we will definitely get to all of that stuff when we do a full review. Yeah.